Hello everybody and welcome back to Hood Aquatics. Well, if you ever owned a fish tank or heard of fish tanks, you probably heard of something called the cleaner fish, also known as the sucker fish. And it's meant to clean the algae off the sides of your tank. Well, the one you probably heard about is also called the Placostomus. Also the, called the Pleco. The thing is, Plecos actually get really big, like the common Pleco that's really big, it gets around 24 inches. Now, let's say you don't have such a big tank that can now host a 24 inch fish. So, today we're going to talk about a bit of a smaller fish, also a pleco. It's called the bristlenose pleco. The thing is, instead of being 24 inches, they only stay around 3 to 5 inches. So, this is a video of actually my just regular pleco, also just common pleco pretty much. His name is Toothless after the dragon from How I How I Train the Dragon. Toothless, just because when he swims, it reminds me of a dragon. And then my, my bristlenose Pleco, his name is actually Night Fury, type of dragon, also from How I Train How to Train a Dragon. Um, they're both black, so that's good. I had other ones in the past. I had an albino one. I had an orange one actually, which I only saw once and never again. But he said he just jumped out of the tank, even though I have a cover, just like sealed out. Very interesting fish, but I only saw him once. Like, he was like a dark, dark orange. And bring back to the point of colors, bristlenose peckles come in a few different colors. They come in blackish, grayish, or they come in albino, which is white or yellowish. And then, as I said, orange, which I wish I could find again and get it. But, the one I have is personally black. So let's talk about bristlenose peckles. So, bristlenose peckles, one of the most amazing features that you can tell bristlenose pecos from other pecos. I have kind of like tentacles on their nose as they get more mature. When they're kids, kind of hard. Like you, you don't see them as much when they're younger. But you can still tell they look a bit different. For example, they have a bit of a wider head than just the regular pleco. They also have shields, like just you call it armor, kind of just harder like thing to protect it. And that's why you can put it with say some some semi-aggressive fish. You don't want to put the anything too big because they'll just swallow it. They could put it with some semi-aggressive fish or even peaceful fish. Like it won't bother anyone. It's actually considered a really peaceful fish. Now, when you want to put in a fish tank, you want to put in something around 20, 25 gallons. Obviously, the more the better. Now, the bristlenose pleco actually comes from South America, as many fish do, um, and they prefer fresh water. Obviously, the freshwater fish. Now, they pretty much graze on algae a lot. They're one of the best algae eaters I own. One of my tanks. This one, I wish I could have showed it to you when I had a lot of algae in it on the glass. Now it's perfectly clean, it's crystal clear. Um, but yeah, anyways, I also like sometimes adding some lettuce or cucumbers to the tank. Also just put in sinking pellets, also which are great for it. And just to, so they can eat, the, the, I noticed that they actually really like it. Well, he really likes it, the one I have. But that you want to add extra vegetables to it. Now on the topic of vegetables, when they eat the vegetables, you want to take them out after, let's say, a day if they don't fully eat it because it starts falling into the tank and dissolving and just making the tank much dirtier. Now when we're talking about plants, so if fed properly, they should not leave your plants alone. They shouldn't eat them. Like in my tank, they actually just don't even pay attention to it at all. The last few things you need to know about personal plecos. First of all, usually the males have longer tentacles than the females. Now, it doesn't mean that for sure the male will have longer tentacles. It just tends to be. So I wouldn't exactly tell males and females to do that way. Also, you don't want to put two males together because they're very territorial. You can keep them when they're juvenile, when they're young. Together, once they get older, they get extremely territorial. Last but not least, these fish are nocturnal. I want to give them many caves or just plants. For example, I have a lot. I have one piece of driftwood they have behind the filter. I have a bunch of anibias plants, and that are big, and they hang, they sometimes will hide under there. We want to give some shady places a day, and during the day, in order to, for them to rest. In the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and see y'all next time.